What's up, everybody? Man, it's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all another video, man. <laughs> and today, man, I'm going to talk about today's AFC Divisional Round matchup. You had the Kansas City Chiefs beating the Houston Texans 51 to 31, yo. Uh, to advance to the AFC to host their second straight AFC Championship game, yo. Um, before I get into this video, man, for everyone, if you want to give me a file on Instagram or send me a friend request on Facebook, I'm going to have my Instagram and my Facebook information down in the description box. Um, come give me a file on the gram. Come send me a request on the book. Um, come holla at your boy, yo. <laughs> wow, what a game. <laughs> like, oh, what a two games it was, man. Um... Well, for the first time all weekend, I finally got a prediction right, man. I did pick the Chiefs um, to win this game by 17. They won by 20. It ain't looked that way early on, man. I ain't going to lie. Early on, when Houston was up 24 to nothing, man, I really was thinking to myself, like, bro, I really jinxed all these teams this weekend, man. Um, But, bro, like, Houston came out roaring, man. When I mean... You know, Watson hitting steals on a long touchdown, a block punt for a touchdown, another touchdown. Um, then the field goes 24 to zero. I mean, even the Kansas City, I thought, I thought they was in Philly, man. <laughs> the Kansas City crowd started booing. I mean, Andy Reid over there looking, I'm saying to myself, man, Andy Reid ain't never about to win that, <laughs> man. Like, it was looking bad, bro. And it was, it, for me, it was the fact that Houston, on a fourth and one deep in Kansas City territory, decided to kick a field goal to make it 24 nothing as opposed to keeping the pedal on the metal, trying to push it to 28 nothing. I know hindsight is 2020, but at that time, Kansas City really was reeling, yo. Then the following kickoff, man, Nicole Hartman, you know, gets a very, very good return. Then all of a sudden, man, the floodgates open, bro. Like, you got a touchdown pass to Williams. You got, which I still don't know for the life of me, what Houston was thinking, running a fake punt on fourth and, what, three or four in their own territory. That was, like, one of the most dumbest uh, play calls and decisions I've ever seen. If you go on a kick a field goal on fourth and one deep in Kansas City territory, but you're going to go for it on fourth and four in your own territory to fake punt, to me, you would do the opposite. <laughs> like, it made no sense. And Kansas City gets another touchdown, fumble on the kickoff return to get another touchdown, and next thing you know, Kansas City has scored 41 unanswered points, man. Went from being down 24 to nothing to being up 41 to 24, yo. Wow. <laughs> um, and I know Patrick Mahomes, man, is going to get all the headlines. Like I call him, you know, the Steph Curry of the NFL. Um, he The way he throws a football to me is like watching Steph Curry shoot a three-point shot in basketball. Um, you know, the defense stepped up after the, the slow start. Um, you know, but for me, the hero was um, was Travis Kelsey, man. Um, what a player, yo. Uh Wow, he's the most physically gifted tight end in the league, man. And it showed that they, like, just absolutely destroying Houston. I mean, Houston threw everything at him, man. They tried to double-team him. They tried grabbing him. They, he, he even went out with a hamstring problem for a little while. And that, uh, the hamstring still ain't stopped this guy today, man. Three touchdown catches, bro. What a game by Travis Kelsey, man. Um, just a great performance, man. Um, and defensively, the city was missing Chris Jones. Um, in that second half, you know, they new acquisition, Frank Clark, man. Um, you know, got real, real pressure on Deshaun Watson. And the back end, you know, played pretty solid, man. Um, this is a very well-rounded football team, man. Um, like I said, man, shout out to the other big homie, Tyron Matthew, Honey Badger back then on the back then, LSU Tiger. Um, but Man, just what a what a what a comeback. <laughs> like what a statement, man. They went on a run. That's like a basketball team going on like a big, big run, man. Um, this team is loaded, yo. Uh and Andy Reid. If Andy Reid don't win it this year, man, I don't know when he will, bro. This is to me arguably the most talented roster he's had, man. This offense is just too prolific. Like, and it's funny because they don't have like a 
a real consistent, consistent run game. But, man, when they drop back the pass, man, when you think about, you know, the, the ability of Patrick Mahomes, man, not only with, you know, his arm strength, his accuracy, his decision making, but you look at you got to receive a mismatch nightmare in Travis Kelsey. You know, you got Tyreek Hill running with a full two. Nikel Hardman running with a full three. Sammy Watkins is, 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 is a, still got some speed with him. You know, you got Damian Williams catching out of the backfield. <laughs> like, when they drop back to throw, and they got a decent offensive line, when they drop back to throw, man, I don't know how you cover the whole field, man. Not to mention, if you do all of that, Patrick Mahomes still has wheels, and he still can run outside and get some yards, man. This offense is just just prolific, man. I mean, it was on full display today, man. Um, You know, they showed a lot of character, a lot of heart, man. That game really got away from them early, early on, and they stuck. They had, they had the stick to of this however they say that, that little made-up word. But, you know, they kept grinding, man. And like I said, for me, it was Travis Kelsey, who is, you know, the most physically gifted tight end in the league. And he showed it today, man, just the way he runs route, his physicality, um, just everything, the total package, man, um, just a big time player by him, yo. Um, and when I look at the Houston, Texas, man, um, <laughs> like it, it's bad. Like I look at I, I look at Bill O'Brien, man. I don't understand. I was like, why well, I go say I don't understand it? I disagree with the decision to kick the field goal, but I understand it. It's like, all right, because in that case, you still it's still a three possession game. I know it's three touchdowns and two two uh, three three point uh, two point conversions, but for me, twenty eight nothing feels a little better than twenty four nothing. But he kicked the field goal. Okay, I get it. I understand it. That fake punt don't make no sense to me, man. Because <laughs> it's like. What are, like what are you doing? Like you gotta know that it's a chance this thing may not work, and you're putting this team who is trying to find any little reason to feel good about yourself. You giving them the ball, basically almost in the red zone, man. That that was just idiotic to me, man. I'm sorry. Like I just don't understand that decision whatsoever, and I felt like that turned the whole game around, you know, in favor of Kansas City. Um. You know, like last week, they come back from a big deficit. This week, they give up a big deficit, man. Um, it's crazy, man. Um, what I think this this team going to have to find, like, you know, they're going to need some more offensive linemen, obviously. Laramie Tunsil was a good pickup. Maybe they could use another running back, um, a guy that could do a little bit of both. Um, they had that in Lamar Miller. Maybe if he come back from his ACL um, injury, he'll be solid in that position next year. Because Carlos Hyde obviously is your first and second down back. Duke Johnson is your third. Um, you can't really use Carlos Hyde that much in the passing game. You can't really use Duke Johnson that much in the running game. So I guess if they could get back to having a, a three down back, you know, that would help out the offense. Um, you know, I think the wide receivers are really good. I, as long as Will Fuller could find stay healthy. I think the wide receiver core is good. Defensively, man, they're going to need... I don't know, man. They're going to... They got young corners, man. It's just that these... Kansas City is a problem, man. So I can't really say they need corners, man. For me, it's definitely like a three down back on offense. And defensively, maybe they could use one more pass rusher, man. But, you know, since to fill the void, I guess, from left from um left behind by Jadavion Clowney. Um, but you know, good season for Houston, man. Um, you know, great comeback win last week. This was, I think, a valuable experience, you know, for Deshaun Watson. Um, winning a playoff game this season, advanced dancing, you know, around deeper than he did the year before. I think Houston has some things to feel good about going forward. But, man, this Kansas City Chiefs team, man, is just prolific and just, you know, it kind of, it's, it's almost like LSU in college on offense, man. Like, like how do you, it's just weapons. I know the quarterback is great, but, man, he got weapons everywhere. And he got a scheme that's favorable, you know, to to quarterbacks, man, as you could have you seen in Andy Reid's tenure, man. Um, Shout out to Andy Reid, man. I know a lot went through his head when they was down 24 to nothing. Um, But his team showed a lot of resiliency, a lot of heart. And they came out and they started playing their type of ball, man. And you see what they're capable of whenever they put it all together, yo. Very, very scary and dangerous football team in the Kansas City Chiefs, yo. Good win by them. Um, but with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all today. 
Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Go on, hit the like button for your boy and give me a subscribe, man. I'm going to have Philadelphia Eagles and NFL content throughout the year. Also, this coming Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central, 3 p.m. Pacific. I'm going to do a live Q&A. Y'all can come on there, ask me anything, tell me anything. I'll answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout out on the live, yo. Y'all should join me. It's some good stuff. Until then, man, y'all have a blessed one. Fly Eagles Fly.